Hey everyone, so it's Hearth and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video we are going to be doing a small review and walkthrough of the Oracle of the Pagan Spirit deck. Now this is a really unusual deck that not that many people have heard of, so I really, really wanted to talk about it on this channel. This is actually a self-published deck by two amazing individuals that I've had the chance to meet at events in person. It was created by Edwin Courtney and Andrew Helm, and they are a pair of artists that create the most beautiful artwork as prints, and they also publish their own oracle decks. Now at one of the recent events, I had the chance to pick up this particular deck. I think they have three decks published at the moment and I had the chance to pick up this deck because I connected with the artwork so, so deeply. As you guys know, I really love self-published decks. I love supporting them, I love working with them. There's just something about the artwork and how personal it is in a self-published deck that I often think you don't find in a mass-produced deck. So I wanted to share with you this particular deck. Now I want to say that this isn't available on Amazon. This isn't something that you can just buy on eBay. It's something that you can only get, at least as far as I know, through their particular website. So I'm hoping that you guys will also be able to get this deck if you want to. I think it's wonderful to support small creators like this. They do some amazing artwork and they also do these amazing decks. Now each deck comes in a little box like this. They are a much smaller deck than the decks I've otherwise um, unboxed and reviewed on this channel. It comes in a small little box with a little front opening seal at the top. Now the front of the deck looks like this. It is soft touch matte, which you know I really, really like. And this is an image of the triple goddess card on the front. So it gives you an idea of kind of the artwork style. The sides, it says Oracle of the Pagan Spirit down the side, which I really, really like. And then on the back, it tells you a little bit about the deck, which I'll read out to you guys. It says, The Oracle of the Pagan Spirit is a fantastical journey into the realms of the old gods, the spirits of the underworld, and those magical practitioners who serve them. Designed to be both an oracle of divination and a series of evocative images that can be used in meditation and invocation, the deck uses inspired and channeled psychic optical art to create images that shimmer and move as you gaze at them, revealing hidden symbols and images within their jewel-like colours and multiple layers. Take a journey down the hidden pathways of the goddess Ellen, with the cunning man by your side, to visit the elemental kings, Call upon the power of the Morrigan to fortify your courage, or the healing powers of the Goddess of Spring. Reawaken your magic and discover new allies of the power in the hidden world of the pagan spirit. The deck has been lovingly created by Andrew Helm, astrologer and artisan, and Edwin Courtney, a spiritual teacher, magician and optical artist, under direct inspiration from the gods. It is their offering to the spirit of pagans everywhere, in perfect love and perfect trust. Now I have to say that everything they've said on the back there is really, really accurate. The images are created in this way where you can actually almost see the individuals in each card shift and move as you're looking at them and it makes for some really trippy experiences. There's just something so unusual and magical about the way it's being done and I love the artwork. I think it's absolutely stunning and it's so different from any other deck that I've ever had the chance to work with. So at the very bottom, it does say two websites, which is edwincourtney.co.uk and spiritlightgallery.co.uk. As always, the links to this deck will be down in the description box if you do want to get it. So the deck itself opens up at the front like this just pops open like that with a white interior. Now I'm definitely gonna be less scrupulous with this deck than I usually am because it's a self-published deck. I'm not expecting what I would expect from a mass-produced, you know, million pound investment into a deck of cards. I'm just not going to. 
These are created with love by two individuals that are very passionate about what they do. And honestly, the artwork and the deck itself speaks for itself. The packaging is really beautiful. It's so nice. I actually really enjoy it. It's simple. It's minimalist. I really like it. And it works really well with the deck inside. So I do really appreciate it, but I'm definitely not going to be quite as scrupulous as I would be if it was a really expensive mass produced deck, in which case I do think that some companies need to improve their packaging. But for this, the deck speaks for itself. And you'll see what I mean when I get into showing the cards. Now each deck does come with a guidebook. This wasn't in the box, it doesn't fit in the box. This is separate to the box, at least as far as I remember anyway. But I really appreciate the fact that there's a little guidebook in there and inside there are no images, there's just text in relation to using the cards, a little bit about the pentacle spread. And it does show you a little illustration of the pentacle spread. And then it goes straight into each individual deity or representation that's in the deck. So it goes into, if I pick, ooh, let's pick Coridwen, considering she's one of my deities. So it will say Coridwen, and then it says Goddess of Transformation. And then it goes into a little bit about the goddess, and it says Coridwen is a powerful ancient Celtic goddess associated with the dark goddess current who is associated with wisdom, magic, shape-shifting, and transformation. Her most famous story being that one of her potion of wisdom brewed for her ugly son that needed stirring for a year and a day, a job she hired out to the local youth, Guion. Burning his finger on a splash from the cauldron, Guion brought his finger to his mouth, swallowing the potion and ruining the batch, but gaining great wisdom as a result. Guion fled, pursued by Keridwen, and a glorious shape-changing chase ensues, resulting finally in Keridwen consuming the boy when he transforms into a grain of corn, and she a hen. Later, Keridwen gave birth to the reincarnated Guion before throwing him into a river to die. And then it goes a little bit into the meaning of drawing this card, and it says, Keridwen is a presence who speaks to you of alchemy and transformation, where that which is being transformed is you. She speaks to you about claiming your power, your wisdom and your magic by daring to dissolve yourself within her cauldron of magic. She suggests this is needed in order for you to change your shape so that you might better adapt yourself to the new situation in your life that may require you to hold an energy that is all new to you. Surrender then now to her power and allow her to consume you, that in time you might be reborn anew. So I love how it all interconnects together. Each card can be used for meditation, for connecting with the deity, for working with them. It tells you a little bit about them, but they also have their own meaning in relation to the folklore, mythology, and experiences with that particular deity and being. And I really, really like that. So it is a very small little guidebook, but honestly it tells you a lot of information that a lot of other decks might not. It goes a lot more into the details of why each card is there, as well as a little bit about the intention behind it, and also the story and the folklore behind each individual card, which I really, really like. It's kind of a one-stop shop for folklore, which I think is absolutely wonderful. So each deck does come with a little guidebook separate that I just keep on my bookshelf so that I always have it for when I need it. So now it's time to go through the cards. As always, I'm not gonna be talking as I do this, I'm just gonna show you the cards with some music over it, just so that you can kind of connect with the cards and get their energy as much as possible through a camera. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to show you some of the beauty of these cards in a way that just talking about them isn't going to do. So let's get on with showing you the cards. So the back of the cards looks like this. They're actually really, really beautiful. The cards themselves are shiny, not matte. So as you can see, they reflect my filming lights. But they are really, really beautiful. And that's the same design on every single card, which I really, really like.
So those are the cards in the deck. I have to say I absolutely love the imagery. It is something that you need to focus on and as you kind of focus on the card, more and more is visible to you. It's, it's all kind of hidden behind the imagery and it's something that you really need to focus on to be able to draw the information out of it. And I really, really like that in a set of cards. So I absolutely love these. And I'm really hoping that in the future I'll be able to get my hands on the other decks that they have created because honestly, this is probably one of my favorite decks of cards. I just love the imagery so, so much and everything that goes into it, you know, it's not a mass produced deck. This is a deck that's been made by two individuals that love and are passionate about what they do and that's something that I really, really like. So I've got a question for you guys. What is your favourite card in this deck? What draws you in the most? What card do you feel most connected to? For me, the card that I feel most connected to is this one. This is the Wise Woman. There's a few in this deck that I love. I love Keridwen, I really love Hecate, I love the Green Man, but this one is probably my favourite of all of them. I don't know what it is about it. There's just something so beautiful and wise about it. I don't know what it is. I've noticed there's a pattern in all of the cards I really like in the decks is it always has this idea of ancestors and um, wisdom and guidance behind it. So this is my favourite but I would love to know what your favourite card in this deck was and why. Is it because they're your deity? Is it someone that's calling out to you? Is it because of the imagery or the meaning? I would really really love to know. As I mentioned before I'll be putting all of the links down in the description box if you do want to check the artwork or the decks out. I have to say that they are a truly wonderful company and I absolutely love the energy that they give off and the artwork and the decks. I really, really like them. And I know I say that about a lot of companies, but that's mainly because all of the companies I talk about on this channel I really, really like. But I absolutely love what they're doing and I think they well deserve anyone's support if you do feel really drawn to these particular cards. So I want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, feel free to give it a like. It really, really means so much to me and it shows that people enjoy the content that I'm putting out. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, or just want to chit chat with the community down in the comment section, feel free to post a comment. And if there are any decks that you would like me to do walkthroughs for in the future, maybe ones that you've been curious about buying or that you're really interested in, feel free to leave them down in the comment section as well and I will do my best to kind of work my way through them over time. And if you do enjoy the magical content on this channel or in this video, feel free to hit subscribe. I do try my best to post magical content every Wednesday and every Saturday at 6pm. So I want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a marvellous magical day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!